Please excuse my tardiness, Miss Surugi-san. For my first time as King of the Ball, it is a great honor to have your wonderful daughter as my queen. In the recent episode, Representation, a fan favorite theory is proven true. In the episode, Felix creates the Senta monster once upon a time to tell the story of how he and Adrian were born. We learn about the Grande Vanilli sisters, such as their inability to have children and how they found a solution using the Peacock Miraculous. In doing so, Felix and Adrian were born, making them living, aging, and free-thinking Senta monsters. Only a few people in the series know this secret, and in today's video, we're covering who those people are. There's this girl I like at school. Should I tell her in person or write her a poem like they do in books? I'm not sure what to do, actually. Since the beginning of the series, Gabriel has always been overprotective and stern with Adrian. Many people believe it's because he worries over his son's well-being, which still could be correct, but it could also be due to Adrian's inability to resist his father's commands. Many characters in the series point out Adrian's unwillingness to stand up against his father, including Plague, Nino, and Felix. When broached with the subject, the only answer Adrian tends to come up to is that he simply can't. In Season 5, an emphasis becomes placed on the Grand de Vanilli family rings. Gabriel and Emily use these rings as wedding bands, but they may also hold Adrian's amok. Throughout the season, Gabriel fidgets with his ring whenever giving his son an order. Adrian immediately complies when this happens, even if he was resistant seconds prior. The switch occurs because a Senta monster must obey the holder of their amok, and in this case, Adrian must obey Gabriel. A notable example of this phenomenon occurs in the episode Adoration. Adrian and Marinette nearly kiss, but Gabriel, watching them from the window, tells Adrian no. Adrian, who would have no way of hearing his father, pulls away immediately. He claims he feels strange, apologizes, and then walks inside. The scene is so jarring and stands out as obscure, but it makes complete sense in the context of Adrian being a Senta monster. While Gabriel can abuse his power over Adrian, he uses it to ensure his son remains well-behaved, compliant, and out of his way. You haven't been the same since my sister Emily disappeared. Why are you rejecting us? This is not the place nor the time, Amelie. The Gram de Vanilli twins, Emily and Amelie, have maintained insignificant roles in the series so far. Emily's death is the cause behind Gabriel's time as a villain, but the series revealed little else about her past. Similarly, Amelie reprises her role as Felix's loving mother, but her appearances feel more like cameos than something substantial. Their circumstances change in the episode Representation, when Felix reveals the twins' past. Once from a family of English nobles, Emily ran away to live with a simple tailor, Gabriel. Amelie, meanwhile, stayed behind and married a wealthy American to appease her family. Although the sisters had different circumstances, they had the same unfortunate physical condition. Unable to have a child, Gabriel and Emily turned to the Peacock Miraculous to have Adrian. Once they realized the Peacock Miraculous had granted their wish, they offered it to Colt Fathom, Felix's father. He begrudgingly uses the Miraculous to have his child with Amelie. When both sisters have their children, Adrian and Felix end up looking as alike as their mothers do. Their similar appearances are likely due to their shared origins as Senta monsters. Unfortunately, Emily and Colt fall ill due to their use of the broken Peacock Miraculous and end up dying around the same time. While Colt is the one who used the Miraculous to create Felix, Amelie likely knows her son's origin too. My, my, look at how much you've grown. Gabriel, isn't he just the absolute cutest? Felix is an interesting character from the start. He keeps his cards close to his chest, but in the episode Felix, when he first appears, he successfully steals one of the Graham de Vanilli family rings from Gabriel. Felix strongly dislikes his uncle and often switches places with Adrian throughout the series to spy and learn more about Gabriel's criminal exploits. His earliest appearances are full of him spying, lying, and manipulating his way around the aggressed family. But in the episode Strike Back, he seems to achieve his goal. In the episode, he steals the Miraculous in the Miracle Box from Ladybug and trades them to gain the Peacock Miraculous from Shadow Moth. With the Peacock Miraculous, he can protect himself and other Senta monsters from unnecessary harm. In representation, Felix claims to have known about his Senta monster existence from a young age. Colt used to blame Felix for his fatal illness and began abusing his child. One day, Colt damages the ring that held Felix's amok, which allows Felix to realize his connection to the piece of jewelry. Oh, do you have that chessboard we used to play all the time? Of course. Let me go upstairs and get it for us. Well, I challenge you, so let the best man win. Natalie is a longtime friend of Gabriel and Emily. In episodes like Passion, we see images and flashbacks of them exploring the world and making discoveries together. Natalie knows that Emily used the Peacock Miraculous, and it's unlikely that the couple would keep Adrian's Senta Monster Origins a secret from their closest friend. Now that Emily is gone, Natalie is the only person Gabriel has to trust. Likewise, Natalie wants to help bring Emily back. 
Natalie even uses the Peacock Miraculous to become Myura and willingly helps Hawk Moth even knowing how it will negatively impact her health. She also cares deeply for Adrian, something she expresses numerous times throughout Season 5. As her health rapidly declines, she begins doing everything to ensure he has a happy and fulfilling life. Gabriel initially trusts Natalie with Adrian's well-being and gives her one of the Graham de Vanilli family rings, which we now know gave her some control over Adrian's actions. Fortunately, Natalie begins to prioritize Adrian's happiness and her instructions contradict the orders given by Gabriel. In the episode Protection, Gabriel expresses unhappiness with Adrian and Marinette's relationship. Adrian acts like he may not pursue a future with Marinette, but when he asks Natalie for advice, she tells him to follow his heart. Adrian immediately does so and invites Marinette over for breakfast. Gabriel later reprimands Natalie for giving Adrian a contradictory order which, in hindsight, proves Natalie knows about Adrian's existence as a scent monster. When it comes to your love life, you're free to decide whatever you want to do. Oh, don't let anyone else tell you how to act. Not now, not ever. Kagami Sarugi has quickly become an influential supporting character in the series. She is the focal point in many episode conflicts, wields the dragon miraculous, and has a personal connection with Adrian and Felix. Although Kagami spends some time dating Adrian, she never learns that his compliant behavior is due to his Senta monster origins. It's not until Kagami speaks with Felix in the episode Emotion do things start to change. In the episode, Felix infiltrates the Diamond Dance by posing as Adrian. When he approaches Kagami, he takes a moment to admire her ring. The detail feels significant now, as Felix and Adrian have a mox also stored in family rings. Felix tries to convince Kagami to stand up against the adults but fails. He later approaches Kagami again in the episode Pretension, where they gain a mutual understanding and a romance begins to bloom between them. It's unclear when Felix reveals the truth about being a Senta monster, but Kagami helps him tell the story of his origins to Marinette in the episode Representation. During their story, Felix mentions that he found someone like him. It's unclear what he meant by this. He and Kagami could simply be kindred spirits, they live in a high-end society and have controlling parents. Or Kagami could also be a Senta monster, created to bring her family's wishes to life. Your being late was a brilliant way to infuriate our parents, but the hand kissing might have been too much. Why was it too much? The latest person to learn about Felix and Adrian is Marinette. Although she comes close to learning Hawk Moth's secret identity, her boyfriend being a Senta monster is a twist she never saw coming. In representation, Kagami reveals she's known Marinette was Ladybug for some time. They travel to Paris from London and lure Marinette away from her school's end-of-year dance. With help from the Senta monster once upon a time, they show Marinette the truth behind the Graham de Vanilli family, why Emily and Colt use the Peacock Miraculous, and that Gabriel is Monarch. The episode ends after these revelations conclude, but Marinette will likely use everything she learned during Ladybug's final confrontation with Monarch. Adrian, what's in there? Take a look. There is no doubt that Miraculous Ladybug is a complex series with twists and turns. The Senta Monster theory was an elaborate guess many fans hoped would come true. Now that it has, a new avenue of storytelling has opened for Felix, Adrian, and even Kagami. As the series continues, a new chapter may begin for Senta Monsters, be that good or bad. Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. I've always seen Marinette acting funny in my presence. I thought that was just the way she was. I thought it was sweet. I thought it was just her charm.